Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So um, once again I'm in my car doing stuff and I decided to actually just send uh, or do an energy forecast because there's going to be a new moon on Wednesday and um, well the energy has shifted and I'm sure that most of you have felt that. So I haven't really done many energy forecasts in the last while. I've been a little bit reluctant largely because there's just very few people that watch them and I just feel like it's a waste of my time. Um, but at the same time, I feel that it's so important that we understand what's actually happening right now and um, yeah, and where we headed to so that we can prepare for it. So the first thing that I want to say is that for some of you who weren't able to make any kind of move in the last two to three months, you would have found that things have started moving. You might have felt that you're unsure about the direction to take in terms of decisions that you might make for your life or whether to travel or what to do. And now you might find that it's more, it's easier for you to be able to take such decisions. So you might not be able to act just immediately, but you might find that towards the end of the month, things start flowing in a way that allows you to make some changes in your life. You would also find at this moment that it's easy for you to launch certain um, products or certain kind of um, uh, some kind of business or perhaps, um, you know, a book that you've been writing or some of your artwork or website, something like this. You would be, it's an, at the time for you to be able to um, launch something like this. Now, I might have spoken a little bit about this as well in the weekly Oracle card guidances, largely because those really reflect nowadays the energy that we have at the moment. And um, I think if you're looking for some kind of um, guidance as to how to go about the next few weeks, then go ahead and look at the the weekly Oracle card, card guidance. Uh, also, if you've been looking forward to having an energy forecast um, with from me and you don't hear from me, then go ahead and listen to that energy for um, the weekly Oracle guidance. Sorry, <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, go ahead and listen to the weekly Oracle card guidance because that is going to be able to help you find your way along okay so i have somebody who's getting into their car right here right now and they are looking at me as if i'm crazy because <laughs> i'm speaking to my phone but let's just get on with this so um the other thing that i want to say is that i there's a new energy that's coming into being now i don't speak about this kind of thing as often as i should perhaps but um i think it's necessary to talk about it right now so there's this new moon right and what it brings but there's also like a greater energy um not having anything to do with the new moon but rather having to do with the space that we are in right now and how that energy impacts us and so i want to talk about how um how everything that comes into our life has an equal um an equal opposite to it okay so you know if there's something in our lives that we think is not healthy for us like this virus it has an equal opposite charge which is a positive charge now what i found uh, as working with covid patients um clients that i do healing for over the last year and a half is that the energy that accompanies somebody or that the process that they undergo while they have COVID is a, quite a sacred process. It's quite a, an unbelievably godlike energy that a person uh, traver traverses through in this time. Now, they not, may not be able to realize that they, it might not be uh, possible for them to acknowledge this consciously because of the... Um, the experience that they have on a on a matter level, on a physical matter level. But what's happening is that there's kind of download of information and energy. So, you know, some people may be, um, there's a lot of different theories going on right now. Some people may call it conspiracy theory. Some people have proof for it. Whatever your beliefs are with regard to this matter, it is necessary to understand that there is a lot of goodness coming into the world with whatever we may think is bad because for everything that exists we have an equally for everything that's bad we have an equally positive good 
and likewise for everything that's good we have an equally positive um, that's not good and it's really about how the individual chooses to walk through this path and how to how the individual chooses to express oneself with these things with these, these dynamics and it's important to understand that lack of action or lack of um, thought around this matter puts you in a particular camp that you might not want to find yourself in it might not want it might not really resonate with you ultimately it might be something that you think oh well you know I can steer clear from this this is not my fight or anything like that but uh, it's in order for you to to be aligned with the goodness to be aligned with what is truly um uh, resonant with your being you need to be able to look at the situation uh, more more closely now the other thing that i want to say is that with regard to this energy you know i talked about the new moon having its own particular energy and october having its own particular energy but then there's this other kind of greater enveloping energy that's impacting the planet or pushing onto the planet in a way and that's really about this download of consciousness this download of of uh, understanding um that's coming into the planet and it's been coming in for a long long time you know we are moving it is uh we are in this kind of cycle where we move along there's movement there's always movement and i think that where we find ourselves right now is that point where we need to welcome this energy into our lives we need to allow this energy to simply just come into our world and to allow us to benefit from it now i'm not talking about anything that's man-made <laughs> or any regulations that are imposed upon us uh, by governing bodies etc i'm not talking about any of that i'm just talking about energy that every single human being on this planet can access and can, has access to and at any moment and so i'm talking about just being able to allow that to come into our being and that's the reason i spoke about what you know what this divine experiences that people are going through that have particular diseases now with every disease every illness that people have there is a spiritual and energetic aspect to it um that, that energetic aspect that exists within cell matter and within tissues etc within organs and then that energetic matter that uh or that that um divine matter or rather yeah it's this is like a level that's um above the body which is basically bringing information bringing wisdom bringing healing to bringing um evolution to to the self and the reason i'm mentioning them the reason i'm talking about that is because right now we are becoming more and more clear about how all of that is sacred how illness and suffering is has a sacred component to it and how not to say that you need to suffer or that you need to be self-sacrificial in any way but how it's important to recognize what it brings to you what does any experience that you have bring to you you know you might be fired from your job what does that bring to you you might be forced to resign because of certain mandates that you don't wish to comply to what does that bring into your life you may choose to um to you know to be in a situation where you are in in pain from a breakup well what does that bring for you because with everything there's a healing component which we need to recognize and now you know the problem with it is that this is bearing down on our society right now this, this is the kind of energy that's coming around us right now and we need to recognize that and there's a lot of um uh, a lot of pressure a lot of um influence from the media from other sources in the world a paradigm a rhetoric that tells you that that is not real that that isn't really happening and that tries to dissuade you from thinking about that tries to distract you from actually understanding that we ultimately have so much of power that we can heal ourselves in a given moment we can renew the cells in our body and we can make ourselves good and whole again and well again in order to be able to move ahead now i could go on and on about the subject but i want to talk about it in terms of the energy that we have at the moment so i think what i'm trying to say here is that right now as you find yourself in october as you find yourself going along you're gonna find that you have access to more power 
to heal yourself and that this information is more readily available. Um, others of you might find that your truth, your being, your, your understanding of life is something that you wish to express in the world. It's something that you wish to talk about. It's something that you wish to um, to actually put out there. And I, I recorded the weekly oracle card guidance earlier today, which you'll get, uh, which I'll be able to upload later tonight. And um, yeah, but you'll find that there's also messages in some of those options which talk about that exactly which is really interesting. I am just like amazed about how the Ar weekly Oracle card guidance nowadays resonates with the, um, with the, with the energy that's going on. I will obviously it should, but it's more so now than it has been, or perhaps I'm just, um, now only realizing that. Um, so what else do I want to say? I think that just on a basic superficial level, October is a month where you will be able to get a lot done. You'll be able to create a lot. You'll be able to make a lot of headway with projects. If you are the type of person who works on more than one project at a time, you'll be able to make headway on all of those projects. And uh, I think that in the latter part of October, um, as we go into the la you know, last two weeks and the first week of November, what you're going to find is that there's an opportunity for you to move, to travel, to uh, if you haven't already at the beginning of October. And there's, there might be also an opportunity for you to broaden your mind. You, or it might be that you've been wanting to do something, but you've not been sure about how to go about doing, doing it. And you're going to find that um, suddenly you have the courage to be able to do this. I think that if you are finding yourself unable to make a decision with regard to something big, a bigger matter in your life, um, just respect that it's not really the time to do that right now and that it's okay to let things be for the moment because sometimes it's just not the right time to to take that action. Sometimes it's just not the right time to, to move in a particular way. The other thing that... Um, I want to say is that on a on a more um, worldly level, things are shifting really, really quickly. So there's this there's this kind of energy that's enveloping the planet. It's like a you know the the planet's like a ball, and there's this like cover that's coming over it, and that's all this energy of healing. And it's almost like saying, "Hey, wake up and listen to the energy that you have, and look at how much you can do for yourself." Right. So there's that. And then there's in the planet under under this heat or under this pressure that's coming with all this energy is our forces that are there fighting it. There are forces that are there trying to shift things so that you don't recognize it. There are forces there that are trying to um, get you to think about things in one particular way as well. So there's a lot of activity going on on a planetary level right now, just on what's happening on our planet. And there's a lot of um, kind of... Uh, hectic energy going on there as well and so i would say that if you are able to step out of it in some way or the other whether it's in meditation whether it's in, in you know doing some kind of uh, escape therapy i don't know what that would be it would definitely not be something that has some kind of addictive value though and um if you're able to kind of extract yourself from that situation whether it means moving traveling um, going into meditation, going into a different consciousness, then I would say go for it. And there's going to be a lot of opportunity for that at the last two weeks of October and the first week of November. Take some time to understand what I'm trying to say here. You know, um, there's a lot that's behind all of this. There's a lot to unpack. There's a lot to actually understand and to assimilate into one's life. I think what the biggest fallacy is, um, which um, learned people have been trying to talk to us over centuries is that we have a lot more power in our hands than we realize or we care to realize and what is it's necessary to note is that this is always what we are being robbed of okay and um, and the other thing I want to say is that just learning to heal yourself is going to be so so important as we go ahead and learning to understand the power that we have in order to do that and this doesn't mean you know it doesn't mean that um that you gotta implant some kind of um chip in your body to be able to regenerate cells regenerating cells is something that you can do with your own mind uh, and your own being and the key to that is to quieten oneself down and to walk away or move away from the distractions and 
and just stay in yourself and focus this energy on yourself practice it practice it on yourself practice it on your finger practice it on your animal your dog or cat or practice it on somebody that you love um, nearby and look at how powerful it can be all right i'm leaving you there sending you a lot of love and um yeah i hope you're all doing well and that you are okay in these crazy times and uh wishing you a lot of goodness all right blessings abound from kismet rising